Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. October 14, variant 41, question number 5. Okay, topic noodle law in the book when I compile question 82 number. Okay, so let's talk. Okay, let's start here. Mass of B particle 0.25. So it means we have B, this is a B. So downward, it's very clear, it is a 2.5 Newton. Upward is a capital R, okay? And uh, P particles here into 10, we got two Newtons downwards. And I've given this name because tension, this string are not connected. So tension in string here and here are different from each other. So I've given this name tension P because P is a tension P. And this tension and tension are always equal to each other. And this uh, uh, Q mass 0.3 into 10, and I'm getting here 3 Newtons. And this I've given name tension Q, and this is also tension Q. I think this is very, very clear. Because it's a heavy particle as compared to this one. So it, if it will move, if, or if first part is in equilibrium. So about to move this way, so I can say about to move. About to move for first part. First part. About to move means acceleration zero. Okay. So first of all, when I talk about Q, so let's talk about Q, for Q. All of you know net force equal to MA. Because about to move this way, you can say about to move this way. So B3 minus tension Q equal to zero. Why zero? Because it is not moving equilibrium. So acceleration zero. So tension Q give us three Newton. Similarly, I go for P. So, uh, so for P, about to move this way, so I can say that this minus this equal to zero. Again, spray formula net force equal to MA. So I'll start from here, tension P minus 2 equal to MA, that is zero acceleration. So tension P becomes 2 Newtons. So I got both tensions clear. Let's talk about the next plan. I talk about Q, finish. Talk about P, over. Let's talk about B. So let's talk about B. So what situation system is bound to the right side? So friction is confirmed backward, this way. So friction back backwards. So let's see how we can deal the next part. Okay. So uh, I can see here net force equals to MA. So tension Q, rightward forces minus backward forces equal to zero. Again, zero because system in equilibrium. I'm going to put this three here, this two here, and friction will go on other side friction. So I got friction is equal to one. And formula F is equal to mu R, and F is one, mu is my target, and R on the particle is 2.5. It goes down, so mu is equal to 1 over 2.5. And answer is coming, uh, I think, 4, I think. No, no, 0.4, I think. So 1 divided by 2.5, it gives you 0.4, correct? So 0.4 is a mu. So first part is very clear. So let's talk about other one. He said other one is easy because Q removed. So Q is removed. This Q cut from here, okay? This cut. So it will behave like this. System is same, like a system is like this, will behave like this fully, and particle is B here, and this is a B particle. So because tension gone, now it will, it is naturally, this is a P particle, and downward I have two, this is called tension of P, I write only one tension, no issue, and backward friction, okay, because surface is same. Okay, and uh, upward is a capital R, downward, you know, 2.5. There's no need to make it now. And what is asking here, find out uh, the acceleration. When Q is removed, so B and B begins to move. And find the acceleration of P and tension the string of PB. So PB is, I think this is a tension here, this tension here we talk about. So it's not a hard job, let's talk about P. So for P, net force equal to ma as usual because moving is not moving now not about to move is moving so moves here so i can say 2 minus tension equal to ma equation one done now let's talk about the b particle so again same situation net force equal to ma system going this way 
So tension minus friction equal to MA. Okay, and friction we have, friction we have it. Okay, let me, oh, this Y is six marks, reason because we have to find friction. So uh, friction is what, I think we have a mu and R. Mu we have a, a 0.4 and R we have a, a 2.5. And I think it gives you one. I think it's one. So friction remains same. Friction will not change here actually. Okay, I think it's one. Yes, one. So friction is one. Friction is same. So this friction which we have, the reason why not change? Do you know what is the reason? Because F depends upon two things. F equal mu R. Mu is our coherent friction and surface not changing. Surface is same. And R is this particle R because particle is not replacing with the other particle. No, a particle is same. So particle same, so mass same, mass same, so R same, so everything. So I will not need to find it. So is it clear? So we can find put here one. So tension minus one equal to M A. Equation number two. So I'll solve them simultaneously. Simple one and two add. So two minus tension equal to zero uh, A and tension minus one equal to zero point two five A. So tension cancel, here I got a 1, here I got 0 0.45A. So A is coming 1 over 0 0.45 and 0 0.45 you can find easily. So 1.45, it is coming 20 by 9 or 2.22 meter per second square. And I need tension, this value I can put in this equation, put in 2. So tension minus 1 equal to 0.25 times 2, uh, I write in fraction form, 20 by 9. Okay, so tension becomes uh, into 0.25 and plus 1, and answer is coming here, 1.55 newtons, and that's it. Okay, there's one correction here, this is down to 3, uh, 3 SM, so uh, not 1.55, it's become 1.56, that's it.